Have you ever wondered why Azerbaijan is often referred to as the land of fire? Let's dive straight into it. Azerbaijan, located at the crossroads of Eastern Europe and Western Asia, has a rich history and an intriguing connection to fire that dates back thousands of years. Fire, in its many forms, has played a significant role in shaping the culture and the identity of this fascinating nation. Let's start with the Zoroastrians. Zoroastrianism, one of the world's oldest monotheistic religions, was widespread in Azerbaijan nearly 2,000 years ago. Fire to Zoroastrians is a symbol of purity and the presence of their supreme god, Ahura Mazda. They worshipped in fire temples, sacred places where eternal flames burned, symbolizing the divine light of wisdom. These temples were a sight to behold, with the most famous one, Ateshka, still standing near Baku, the capital city of Azerbaijan. But the connection with fire goes beyond religious symbolism. You see, Azerbaijan is blessed with abundant natural gas reserves, so much so that in some parts of the country, the earth literally burns. One such place is Yanardag, or the Burning Mountain, where a natural gas fire blazes continuously on a hillside. It's a captivating spectacle, a testament to the raw power of nature. Then there's the Gobustan, an area dotted with mud volcanoes. These volcanoes, when they erupt, send flames shooting into the air. It's natural fireworks display that has to be seen to be believed. Fire has indeed left an indelible mark on the culture and the history of Azerbaijan. It has found its way into their art, their folklore, their cuisine, and even their national emblem. It's a symbol of warmth, of light, of life, and of the enduring spirit of the Azerbaijani people. So the next time you hear Azerbaijan referred to as the land of fire, you'll know exactly why. Did you know that Azerbaijan is a land of contrasts? This fascinating nation doesn't just straddle the boundary between east and west, it also beautifully juxtaposes the old with the new. Let's start with the architecture. Walk down the streets of Baku, the capital city, and you'll find yourself lost in a dance between time periods. On one side you have the ancient old city, or Icheri Sheher, with its medieval walls and palaces that whisper tales of a bygone era. On the other hand, you have the ultra-modern flame towers that seem to reach out to the future, their gleaming glass facades reflecting the azure Caspian Sea. It's as though history and modernity are playing an eternal game of chess on the city's skyline. But the contrasts don't stop at architecture. The culture of Azerbaijan is a unique blend of Eastern and Western influences. It's here that you'll find the traditional Mugham music echoing through the streets, while jazz clubs thrum with energy just around the corner. It's a place where the East and West not only meet, but also mingle, creating a unique cultural tapestry. And then there's the climate, a smorgasbord of weather patterns that span the spectrum. You can find semi-desert conditions in the lowlands, lush greenery in the highlands, and snow-capped peaks in the greater Caucasus Mountains. You could potentially experience all four seasons in a single day, Start with a chilly morning in the mountains, enjoy a warm and sunny afternoon on the coast, and end with a cool evening in the foothills. It's a climatic roller coaster ride that adds to the country's charm. Azerbaijan is not just a country, it's a living, breathing testament to the power of contrast. It's a place where you can walk through centuries in a matter of minutes, experience a cultural fusion like no other, and witness the seasons change before your eyes. Azerbaijan is truly a country where the old meets the new, the east meets the west and where you can experience the four seasons in a single day. How many languages do you think are spoken in Azerbaijan? A question to pique your curiosity, isn't it? Well let's dive into the multilingual aspect of this fascinating country. Azerbaijan, while relatively small in size, is a linguistic giant. Azerbaijani, a Turkic language is the official language but it's not the only one that echoes through the bustling markets, the quiet countryside, and the modern cityscapes. Russian, a linguistic legacy of the Soviet era is also widely spoken, especially among the older generation. But the linguistic diversity doesn't stop there. English is increasingly popular, particularly among the younger generation who see it as a key to unlocking global opportunities. Not to mention, there are numerous regional languages and dialects scattered across the country, each adding a unique thread to the rich linguistic tapestry of Azerbaijan. But language is just one facet of Azerbaijan's multiculturalism. The country's religious tolerance is another. Azerbaijan is a predominantly Muslim country, but it has a long history of religious diversity and acceptance. Orthodox Christians, Jews, Baha'is, and others, 
live and worship freely here. The country's capital, Baku, is home to the Tolerance Monument, a testament to Azerbaijan's commitment to religious freedom and harmony. In fact, Azerbaijan's multiculturalism is deeply ingrained in its history. From the ancient Silk Road traders to the modern oil industry professionals, people from different cultures and backgrounds have always found a home in Azerbaijan. They've brought with them their traditions, their foods, their music, and of course, their languages. This multiculturalism has shaped Azerbaijan in countless ways, influencing its cuisine, its music, its literature, and even its sense of hospitality. It's a country where East meets West, where tradition meets modernity, and where diversity is not just accepted, but celebrated. So, when you step into Azerbaijan, you're not just stepping into a country, you're stepping into a microcosm of the world's cultures. It's a place where you can hear the echoes of a thousand different voices, each telling their own unique story. With such a rich tapestry of languages and cultures, Azerbaijan is truly a multicultural hub. Can you name a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Azerbaijan? Let's take a journey through time to a place that has been recognized by UNESCO for its historical and cultural significance, the Gobistan National Park. Nestled in the arid landscapes of eastern Azerbaijan, this national park is a treasure trove of ancient art and history. Now imagine this. Thousands of years ago, ancient artists etched their stories into the bare rock faces of Gobustan, not with fancy art supplies, mind you, but with simple stone tools. These rock carvings, or petroglyphs as they're known, are a mesmerizing testament to the creative spirit of our Stone Age ancestors. The Gobustan National Park is home to over 6,000 of these petroglyphs, some of which date back as far as 40,000 years. That's right, 40,000 years. These carvings depict scenes from the everyday life of the people who lived here during the Stone Age. Hunting scenes, dancing figures, animals, and even boats, these carvings tell us a fascinating story of a time long gone. But it's not just the rock carvings that make Gobustan special. The park is also known for its mud volcanoes. Yes, you heard that right, mud volcanoes. These strange and wonderful natural phenomena are a sight to behold. They're one of the reasons why Gobistan is considered a place of outstanding universal value. And let's not forget about the musical stones of Gobistan. These aren't your average stones. When struck, they produce a metallic sound, almost like a tambourine. It's believed that our Stone Age ancestors used these stones to make music. So, if you're a fan of history and ancient art, Gobistan National Park is a must-visit. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a journey into the past, a place where you can touch the echoes of ancient human creativity and marvel at the wonders of nature. It's a testament to the enduring human spirit, etched in stone for all of eternity. So, if you're a fan of history and ancient art, Gobistan National Park is a must-visit. What beverage do you think is an integral part of Azerbaijani culture? Let me spill the tea. It's tea! Yes, my friends, it's not just the Brits who have a love affair with this aromatic infusion. In Azerbaijan, tea or chai, as it's locally known, is not just a drink, it's a tradition, a symbol of hospitality and friendship, and an integral part of daily life. So, what makes Azerbaijani tea so special, you ask? Well, it's not just about the tea itself, but the way it's served. In Azerbaijan, tea is traditionally served in pear-shaped glasses known as armudu, which translates to pear in English. These glasses, with their narrow waist and flared top, are designed to keep the tea hot at the bottom while the top part cools quickly so it's just right for sipping. But that's not all. The serving of tea in Azerbaijan is an art form in itself. The host pours the tea from a samovar, a beautiful often ornately decorated metal container used to heat and boil water. The tea is then served with various accompaniments like lemon, honey, and preserves, offering a delightful combination of tastes to please your palate. And here's a fun fact, when a guest is served tea, the amount poured into the glass has a meaning. If the glass is full to the brim, it means the guest is very welcome. On the other hand, if the glass is only half full, it's a subtle sign that it's time for the guest to leave. So, keep an eye on your tea glass when you're visiting an Azerbaijani home. In Azerbaijan, drinking tea is a time for relaxation and conversation. It's a chance to slow down, enjoy the company of friends and family, and engage in warm, hearty discussions. It's a ritual that brings people together, symbolizing the Azerbaijani spirit of hospitality and friendliness. So, if you're ever in Azerbaijan, remember, a cup of tea is more than just a drink, it's a symbol of welcome and friendship. We've journeyed through the land of fire, a land of contrasts, a multicultural hub, home to a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and a country where tea symbolizes hospitality. As we delve delve deeper into the wonders of Azerbaijan, 
let's revisit the fascinating facts we've uncovered about this intriguing nation. Nestled at the crossroads of Europe and Asia, Azerbaijan is a captivating blend of the old and the new, the east and the west. First, we explored Azerbaijan is known as the Land of Fire. The country's rich reserves of natural gas and oil have fueled this moniker. But it's not just about resources. Azerbaijan's fire is also embodied in the Yanar Dag, a mountain that has been ablaze for thousands of years, and the mysterious fire temple of Ateshka, which was a place of worship for Zoroastrians and later Hindus. We then ventured into the contrasts that make Azerbaijan such an enchanting place. Its capital, Baku, is a striking example of this, where sleek skyscrapers stand side by side with centuries-old stone buildings. In the same city, you can stroll down wide modern boulevards then find yourself in the narrow winding alleys of the old city. And not to forget, the stark contrast between the arid semi-desert lowlands and the lush green highlands. Next, we delved into the multicultural hub that is Azerbaijan. Despite being a predominantly Muslim country, Azerbaijan is a melting pot of cultures, religions and languages. Here, Eastern Orthodox churches, synagogues and mosques coexist peacefully. This cultural diversity is reflected in the country's music, dance and cuisine, which draw influences from Turkey, Iran, Russia and the Caucasus. Our journey also took us to Gobustan, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This reserve is home to more than 6,000 rock carvings that date back to the Stone Age. These carvings tell the story of early inhabitants of this land, their rituals, and their beliefs. The site also features the Gaval Dash, a musical stone that produces a tambourine-like sound when struck. And of course we cannot forget the importance of tea and hospitality in Azerbaijani culture. Tea is more than a beverage in Azerbaijan, it's a symbol of hospitality and friendship. There's even a specific way to prepare and serve it. The tea is served in a pear-shaped glass known as an armudu, and it's typically accompanied by various sweets and jams. Hospitality is such a significant part of Azerbaijani culture that there's a saying, a guest is a gift from God. In this journey we've seen that Azerbaijan is a country steeped in history, rich in culture, and blessed with diverse landscapes. From the ever-burning fires of Yanar Dag to the ancient rock carvings of Gobastan, from the multicultural vibrancy of Baku to the tea-serving traditions that symbolize warmth and hospitality, Azerbaijan indeed is a land of wonders. But the real wonder of Azerbaijan is its people. Warm, welcoming, and hospitable, they are the true embodiment of the country's spirit. So there you have it, five intriguing facts about Azerbaijan. A country that's as rich in history as it is in culture, and as varied in its landscapes it is in its people. This is Azerbaijan, a captivating blend of the old and the new, the east and the west. If you enjoyed this journey through Azerbaijan, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Nation Nibbles, for more intriguing facts about nations around the world.